So I'm with County Councillor Sharon Davis in Swain Hendy and Trotsdam Hall. Sharon, here we are, 2017, it's the summer holidays and you've got a hall packed full of children and families um, coming here to have their lunch. Yes. Is, is that unusual? No, not well. Well, it is, I suppose, unusual within the school holidays for children because we not, normally put on different events. But we decided as a group that um, during the summer holidays it's a stressful time for parents feeding children and obviously look, doing activities with them as well. And it, we had the opportunity that we thought, let's do something during the holidays, and that's why we brought the free lunches. And looking at the numbers, you sort of get in 40, 50, and up to 100 at times. Yes, which we were surprised actually. We, were, we thought that we may get 20, 30, but as you can see, people are still come in, and um, yes, we, we have had up to 100 people at a time. There's a cost involved here, obviously. So where are you getting the food from? We've been lucky, actually. Um, Brian in Castle Howell has donated. Morrison's has donated. Given us vouchers. Nigel Fleming donated the bread. And also, um, Andrew Howell has been doing raffles. And the money proceeds from that then obviously pays for different items that, we, that haven't been provided by the other organisations. Um, as, as a county councillor, you'd be aware of the Future Generations and Wellbeing Act. This obviously uh, is something that links into that, but um, it's not a county council initiative. Would you like to see the county council targeting areas like this and putting some money into it? Because at the end of the day, we know it, it takes a village to raise a child, and a hungry child is an unhappy child and an unhealthy child. Yes, I mean, you know, within our area, we are in a poverty area. And that's why we felt as county councillors and community councillors that we needed to step up and provide that opportunity for those individuals to have free lunch. And yes, with the Wellbeing Act, you know, it is important that children are fed and kept healthy. I'm with Jason Hart, uh, another local councillor. Jason, we can see children here enjoying themselves, eating all sorts of things, fish fingers, beans and chips, I think it is today, and uh, Ella's chocolate cakes, I'm told. Um, you, you were telling me earlier that it's um, the children themselves who are deciding what they want to eat. How does that come about? Yeah, that's right. Every day we have a little discussion with the children, as you've seen earlier when I'm talking to them. And we've been asking them what, what they would like to see. So we try to provide them, if, if viable, what, what they want to eat. Has anyone come up with sort of caviar and, um, and, and, and something like that? Or? No, not yet. We've had uh, requests for dinners and yeah. all sorts of things like that. But uh, yeah, we've taken them on board and fed them what, what, what they're asking for. And this stuff is, is reasonably healthy as well. It's a square meal, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. We've had uh, things like fish fingers, chicken nuggets. Um, we've had a dinner. We've got you know, a variety of meals. We, we offer them a drink as well. We give them a, a glass of squash and a, and a pudding then to make sure that they are, they are full. Uh, Sharon was saying this is a, a poverty area. What, what does she mean by that? The, the area is classed as quite deprived. Or there's uh, a lot of social housing. Um, there's a lot of people on benefit, so you know our aim is just to make sure that all these children get fed. And are they coming from far and wide, or are they just coming from across the road here in the estate? No, all, all over Thurnendi and the uh, the Binney Wards, really. We've got some across the road in Amman, right? and then we've got some coming in from um, Lower Kevin here and places like that. We've got a little scooter club that come uh, daily for their for their lunch. Yeah, yeah. And more than the food, uh, this. Obviously, you can hear the chit chat behind us of the children. Yeah. This is a get together as well. It is, yeah. We, we usually have some activities going on as well with the, with the children. We do some crafts and things like that to keep them entertained and off the street as mm. well. It's a healthy and happy one more thing for. I'm with Ella Simmons, another councillor in uh, chat room here. Ella. Uh, your chocolate cake apparently is very uh, popular with the kids. So they say, yes, yes. I just hope they just enjoy it, you know. Um, for me, it's just about feeding the kids. And do you live here yourself? I live in Dillon. So you know some of the issues on the estate? Oh, yes, yes. What is it about, you know, some, some people might say, well, you know, that there shouldn't really be a need for this today. This is 2017, we shouldn't have a hall. Here, packed with families and children coming here for a free meal. No, exactly. I know you're right there, and uh, I think it's it's the poverty in the area, and we just felt that um, with the school holidays, you know, there's a lot of children on free school meals, and we've just felt a need to feed them. And do, you think, uh, do you think there's an element of people that would not come here for pride reasons? Yes, 
Yes, you I know do. that for sure. Yes, I think there is, you know, which is a shame, really. And I mean, we're not here for people that um, are proud. We're just here to feed the children. And, you know, if the parents want a meal and we've got enough there, then we've uh, we fed the parents as well. The businesses have obviously been very generous. We've heard about Castell Howell and Morris and so um, yeah. Would you like to see this sort of ongoing... I know, ideally, you wouldn't like to see a need for this at all, but given that there is a need, would you like to see more businesses getting involved in supporting something like yes, this? Yes, I would, I would. Because we're hoping to carry this on in the October holidays. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and uh, do it again, whether we do it for the whole of the holidays. We, you know, we couldn't talk about that, but there's definitely a need. Oh, that's been done. Oh, no. My daughter helped me. I don't know what to do. I'll ask you questions. So, you've come along today for the lunch. What's it like? It's really nice. Is it? Yeah. What's your favourite? Um, spaghetti bolognese. Is it? Yeah. Do you, do you make that at home as well? Yeah. You make it, do you, Mum? My mum. For sure. Is yeah. it as good as they get here? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. So, what do you think of this idea of, of coming here, being able to have some food to share with all the other children? I think it's a good idea to help the community and for my yeah, mums and dads save them cooking at home. Is this something you'd like to do when you're older, maybe to, to get involved with the community and do something yeah. like this? Yeah. Great, thanks for speaking to us. Thank you. So here we are, we are talking to a parent in Chatham Hall. A good idea to have this during the holidays? Yeah, I think it's wonderful. Yeah, it's a wonderful idea. And obviously some people say, well, you know, there shouldn't really be a need for this, but putting putting pride aside, people might say, well, why are you going somewhere like that for? This is a community, isn't it? This is a lot of people getting together uh, the councillors, the volunteers, the children, the families. Is that how you see it? I think it's wonderful. I think it's great they're rallying together, that they're, they're helping the local people. Um, I think there is a need for it. It's, um, it's just expensive. The holidays are really expensive. There's the added cost of foods and that, that you don't normally get when the children are in school. Yeah. So it's, it's a big, big help. But it's, it's lovely seeing the communities get together to, to help each other. It is. And, and the businesses have taken a part in this by supplying some of the items. Um, I, rem I remember speaking to my wife on the weekend and we saw the offer, Lidl's were offering six bottles of Prosecco for £20. We kind of flipped that on its head and said, why aren't they offering free uh, fresh fruit and vegetable uh, like uh, in bulk for £20? Would you agree with that? I would, yeah, yeah, yeah. It I seems would. to be encouraging the wrong sort of... It is, yeah. There's, there's people that need help out there when you hear the demand for food banks and things <coughs> now. And um, yeah, they've got it the wrong way. They have, they're, they're offering the wrong thing really. Do you think the need is going to grow in, in number as, as the years go on if, if something isn't done about this at local, national, government level? It's already seems to have done. I've noticed in the last four years now, I've got local friends in the community off already doing a lot of charity work to support local families. Um, Christmas time especially, there's a lot of help going on. They can't even afford a Christmas dinner and that, and uh, so there's locals have them. And it seems to be getting a bigger demand for every year. It is, it's sad, it's sad. This app, but there is a need. That's great. Thanks for speaking to us. Have you enjoyed your lunch? Yeah? <laughs> Not Have you enjoyed yours? Enjoy your food. Yeah, what was your favourite? <laughs> chips. Always chips. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.